What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Alright, we're coming back to Incubus. Yes, indeed. Incubus fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. This is a request from Amasaic. And this is actually one of Amasaic's three prioritized requests for the month of May for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So... Here you go, Amasek. I hope you enjoy the show, man. Uh, Amasek wanted to see me react to this song by Incubus called Pardon Me. Now, have I heard the song before? No. To the best of my knowledge, I have never heard the song before. This does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, Wait a second, I recognize this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by Incubus TV. Okay. And the video has 44.9 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Incubus, pardon me. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Decade ago, I never thought I would be at 23 on the verge of spontaneous combustion. Well, with me, but I guess that it comes with a territory, an ominous landscape of never ending calamity. I need you to hear, I need you to see, but I am half, but I can take an exploding scene, bigger than an impossibility. But to me, so pardon me, who I love first. The subdivisions in this are ridiculous. Like, between what's happening in the drums, the guitar and the bass, and the vocal delivery, there are some really sick subdivisions happening. Whew. <laughs> really nice. I I was not expecting that at all. Um but very well done, very clean, very strategic. Dug it. Absolutely dug it. Um, the chorus is the hook, definitely. I mean, without without question, that chorus is the hook. But I'm digging, you know what I'm digging, though, is I'm digging that verse. The verses with all those subdivisions. That is my favorite part so far. Um, DJing. DJing, I I have mixed feelings about DJing. When, when, I, I, having a DJ as a band member. Now, here's the thing. If you have an actual person back there doing the scratching, doing the pads, doing the sampling, doing everything that you know, DJs do, if there's an actual person back there doing it, 
Do I count them as part of the band? Yes, I do, because they are being an active member. They're actively doing things. Even if it's pushing buttons, it's still actively doing something because your timing has to be on when you're hitting those buttons or when you're scratching in particular. Scratching is probably the most difficult thing to do um, if you're doing it well. It's way harder than pushing a button, I'll tell you that. Um, I do consider active DJs like this to be part of the band if they're a real person. Now, if it's just samples that are being played through backing track or whatever, do I consider that to be part of the band? Absolutely not. If you're not on stage live doing it with the band, you're not part of the band. You may be doing it in studio, and hey, that's all wonderful and great, but if you're not out there on, on stage with the band, touring with them, and showing your craft that, yes, you can do this live, then no, I don't consider you part of the band. I'm sorry, I just don't. Um, from what I've been told in the comments, this DJ actually does go on tour with them. He actually does play live with them. So I do consider that part of the band. Absolutely. So just to be clear, because I know in the past I made comments about DJs in the past where I didn't consider them to be part of the band because they weren't playing live. They didn't do it on stage. They did on the, on the, on the record, but that's it. You know, no, I don't consider that to be part of the band. But if they're playing live with them, yes, absolutely. So, anyway, uh, let's keep going here. Now, two days ago, I was having a look in a book, and I saw a picture of a guy right up above his knee. <laughs> I can relate, because lately I've been thinking of combust the kitchen as a welcome vacation from the burdens of the planet Earth. Do I have any hypocrisy in the perils of being in 3D? But thinking so much to for sure i i don't know anything about this band honestly uh i'm gonna go on a limb and i'm gonna say that this was probably one not i don't know if it was their biggest hit but this is one of their biggest hits it has a ton of commercial appeal it really does um easy song format to follow easy chord structure relatable um Simple melodic lines, but like I've always said on the channel, simple can be effective when it's done properly and quite often will lead to hit songs like this. I'll bet is. Um, I now I, I could be wrong, and maybe this is just like a B side that never got an airplay. I don't know, but I mean, they made a music video for it, so I, I don't think it was a B side. Um, but maybe this is just one of those songs that never took off, it's possible, but I have a feeling it did. I I can't imagine this song not being a hit if I'm being honest with you. It's it's got too much going for it. It's got it's got too many good things going for it. Um It's catchy. It is absolutely catchy. I, I'm just I'm I'm not gonna try to deny it. It it is absolutely a catchy tune. So anyway, let's finish this out and we'll get to the review. <laughs>
guy does not need me, that's a guitar effect. Yeah, um, not really a whole lot to say if I'm being honest here. It, it it's it's pretty straightforward. Um, let me think about this. Could be a short review. I I don't know, but this has the potential to be a very short review. Let me gather my thoughts. Let me think about it, and I'll see you in the review. We'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Incubus with Pardon Me. This was a request from Amasaic. And this is actually one of Amasaic's three prioritized requests for the month of May for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So, there you go, Amasaic. I hope you enjoyed the show, man. Um, On a scale of 1 to 10, surprising. Um, I'm going to give that an 8.1. Point one. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? <laughs> this is going to be a short review, I have a feeling. Uh, there really is not a whole lot to talk about. I haven't already said. Um, quarterly, the song is simple. Very simple. Melodic lines, very simple. Everything from a melodic standpoint, chordal structure, chordal flow, melodic lines, harmonies, everything of that sort, pretty simple across the board. But like I've always said on this channel, simple can be effective when it's done properly. And they definitely did it properly here. I am still not sure if this was a big hit for them or not. It, it, uh, if I'm being honest, though, this sounds like it could have been a hit for them. I don't know if it was their biggest hit, but... It sounds like it could have been one of their hit songs. Uh, the commercial value is all there. It is all there without question. I can see this song being used everywhere. Movies, television. Um, television for sure. But definitely in movies as well. Video games. I can see this song being used in video games. Um, sports games. Maybe like skater games. Like Tony Hawk or something like that. I, I can see this being used in there. Um... But I, I see a ton of commercial value in this song. And I and there's a very good reason why. It, it's catchy. It's absolutely catchy. The the funny thing is, the thing that's going to hook everybody is the chorus. Like, everybody's going to hear the chorus and they're going to be like, that's what hooked me. That's the part I remember. I respectfully disagree. Listen, I'm sure people believe that. And I'm, I'm sure that people hear that. And, and that that is what they believe. And that's fine. If, if, the, if the chorus is what hooked them, that's there's nothing wrong with that. For me personally, what hooked me were those verses. The subdivision work in those verses was fantastic. I hear the drummer doing one thing, guitar and bass doing another, and then the vocal ability comes along and does a completely different subdivided pattern. It was so cool to hear that. Man, that was really, really cool. I dug the verses more than I dug anything else. Um, from what I could hear, everybody did a fine job playing. Uh, guitar sounded really nice. Uh, it could have been a little thicker, if I'm being honest, but I have a feeling this was done like late '90s, early 2000s. So it had that had that new rock sound. You know what I'm talking about from the guitar. So you know, it, I, I always like to hear a little thicker guitar than that, but it it still sounded good. And I, like I said, I suspect late '90s, early 2000s is when this song was released. So it had that very stereotypical guitar sound that everybody was trying to get at the time and trying to emulate. Um, bass sounded good. I could actually hear the bass in this. It came through pretty clearly. Um, sounded good. No issues with what anything he did. Drums sounded really nice. Vocals sounded very appropriate. I like, again, going back to the difference between what was happening in the verses and the chorus. The chorus, don't get me wrong, he sang it fine. You know, it, it was great tone, great pitch. Everything sounded fine. But I really was digging what he was doing more than anything else in the verses. I, I loved the subdivision work that he was doing in there. So that is what, more than anything, it was the subdivision work. That's what popped this up to an 8.1. If that subdivision work had not been in there, I would have given the song overall like about 7.8. 7.7, 7 7.8, somewhere in there. But because of that really nice subdivision work in both of those verses, I brought it up to an 8.1. So... 8.1 is where we're at. 8.1 is where we're going to stay. So, 8.1, final score, I have spoken.
Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys feel like ringing the bell, then go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.